Yep, lining it up. Chairs on rolls. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. I don't know how low my keto is today. Goodness, I am. Um, my, my total carbs, I mean. Let's see. I, um, yeah, I could have done this before. <laughs> anyway, are you plugged in? Are you plugged into your eating program? Is what you're doing making you happy, feel good, feel content, not feel like you need something else? Are you still adding in some CRAP just because you want to? Because you think you deserve it? Maybe that's not keto after all. Well, today, here we go. This is what my keto food plan looks like today. 1,286 calories. Protein is 38.7. Carbs total, not net, 9.9. And my fat is 123.8. Today is leftover stew day, which I make fresh to have. So that kind of sounds kind of funny, but it is. It's the leftover cauliflower crumbles, the leftover Brussels sprouts from the big green egg chopped up with a pound of grass-fed beef, browned up, and then some emerald stock, a tablespoon of Rao's uh, pizza sauce, and um, yeah, that's how simple it is, right? Oh, three tablespoons of cream cheese and three tablespoons of butter. Oh yeah, where's all that flour? Where's all that flavor come from? So this is from Miss Joyce for my birthday. This is my sterling silver turtle. Have you made peace with being a turtle? Have you? Is there like nothing that's going to make you think that some magical pill or magical something something is going to be taken by you and you wake up and you have the body you never had before and you have the weight you never had before and everything is happy and content and the world will live with puppy dog tails, butterflies and um, what used to be ice cream is now heavy whipping cream. Doesn't happen that way. The older we are, the more our sorry ass metabolisms don't do. And so you have to really practice patience with your keto under whatever total carbs you have for the day. I'm under 10 today. I'm having 60 grams of baby butter romaine lettuce by Olivia's. And that's it from the green plant-based family these days. Oh, the chopped up Brussels sprouts, which is like a, a half a cup and it serves three. So what would that be? You know, a um, a twelfth of a cup of Brussels sprouts, like maybe one or two. And then the cauliflower crumbles, um, maybe a half a cup of them. So it is is definitely a um, very uh, stark veggie intake that I'm having these days. So any of those carbs that you see, they could come from the cream cheese, they could come from the heavy whipping cream. No, I don't think that has it in it. But anyway, they end up being nine point, oh, the cottage cheese. I'm having good culture cottage cheese. And good culture is the best tasting of all. Although I had some Stonyfield uh, organic cottage cheese all last week. No, the good culture, it tastes like real old cottage cheese, like how my head tells me it tastes. And so that's what I'm having today and that's what I'm doing. And um, as some of you may hear from me, blah, 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 all the time, I'm totally plugged in to my program. And if you are one of my clients, I'm totally plugged in to your program too. What you do, what you eat, what you have, when you have it matters to me. Even if you're just subbed to my YouTube channel and you comment down below, I want to tell you how important your um, membership to the No Matter What Club is. I hope you are a member. I hope that you're an accepting turtle to your journey, knowing that it's happening just the way that it's supposed to. You know, don't, don't be arrogant or self-entitled with who do you think you are type of stuff. I know there are times, I mean, I just got done watching Tammy from Keto and the Chaos and her week 88, and gosh, she's sad for a whole bunch of reasons. And um, since her vaca vacation, she's just been putting on pound after pound. She's not eating carbohydrates. She's not eating sugar, but something metabolic is going on in her body 
that makes her wake up with like 14, 15 more pounds than she had um, a couple of weeks ago before she went to Alabama. So this stuff can happen to us. That is so funny. Um, well, it was to me. Um, she said, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> I just turned 43. And it's like, <laughs> you think that's old, sister? <laughs> right, Marilyn? You beat us all, didn't you? So anyway, um, when things happen, things happen. And metabolically, for her, something is going on. And she promises she will see a doctor. Now, for me, metabolically, things started going on when I was having those 150 grams of the plant of the lettuces every day. And suddenly my body said, no, no more. So now I substitute um, cottage cheese. I, I will only buy the good culture now that I, I remember. I remember what I forgot. Um, things like hard boiled eggs, peanut butter, and um, not the avocado. What was the fourth thing that I love? Oh, and the fa faye yogurt into my food plan that will make up for all those grams of the greenies and the two tablespoons of extra oil that I would have because I'd have four tablespoons on my big green leafy. And now it's a much more modest square plate. Um, it would be probably, you know, it would have a salad on it at a ladies luncheon or something like that. And, um, and so, yes, this seems to be working. My metabolism feels um, different. I don't have the bloat. Um, I'm much more entertaining of, you know, it's, it's like I'm a carnivore except for the 60 grams of lettuce type of um, feeling. And, and I would be carnivore. This is a, a really truthful disclosure. I'd be carnivore six days of the week if I could just have my um, keto pizza on Saturday. And I, I did a really deep heartfelt thinking about this because um, if I never met a keto pizza, I probably would be carnivore, but I have met keto pizza. And I realized that that is my safety. It's my safety net of my entire keto food pr program. I'm not ashamed or unproud or whatever, whatever to say that. I know that that is true. That is what happens with me. I know that I want to have that pizza every Saturday for sanity's sake, for trigging, tr triggings and <laughs> craigers, trig triggers and cravings. I want to satisfy that. I don't ever want to feel like I'm getting a little bit tipsy towards entertaining anything that would not be my keto under 20 total carbs food program. And so, you know, I a month from now, I could be carnivore, but not today. I'm still planning on having my keto pizza. I still want those 60 grams of um, uh, baby butter, organic romaine lettuce from Olivia's to have with my cottage cheese and my two tablespoons of oil, one macadamia, one extra virgin olive oil. I, I just know that about me. And so that's today what's true, but things could change. And, um, but I know that so many people are doing carnivore and I have such great respect for any woman, especially my age, that is making that next jump. It just seems, it doesn't seem like a pattern. It seems like Weight Watchers and then low carb, high fat, and then keto with whatever total carbs you have and then some go on to carnivore. And it's just kind of amazing. So um, I definitely, it doesn't scare me to think about it, just the keto pizza. And I know that for me, that is my oxygen tank. And that's just where I land. I'm a food addict in recovery, so I know that I need slash want that little bit extra variety with my foods that I get now by having my little salad. You know, the lettuce sits under the taco salad much less than before. And so um, I'm having fun. I'm not playing with it, but I have fun, you know, seeing that I can have. Like today I'm having 60 grams of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese, full fat, plain, um, with my 60 grams of lettuce leaves and my two um, tablespoons of the oils. And I am delighted and I'm finding that it takes a while to eat. And I do have my lettuces with my fingers, just so you know. I kind of eat that way. And um, I'm having that leftover stew. 
and it will take a while to have because I, I need to plan that it's dining. It's my OMAD. And so I want to spend some time in front of my foods that I'm enjoying. And the way that that cottage cheese tastes, it is absolutely wonderful. And so that's, I just realized with the duh, that's where the carbs come from in the 9.9. .9. It's the cottage cheese, 60 grams of that plus the lettuce. And um, so that's how I'm doing it. And I love hearing other people's travels, what happens to them, the things that improve. You know, by the time you get to be our age, a lot of us have made peace with our weight being what it is. And we're just happy slash grateful for a good night's sleep again. Because a lot of women going through menopause never thought they'd ever have six solid hours or four solid hours ever again without the aid of our little pink Benadryl, right? And so, um, and so to find out that there's some non-scale victories going on that far surpass what that scale could read. So what? We weigh 179 pounds and we drop a pound and a half a month, but we're dropping, but we're sleeping better, we're walking better, our joints feel less, we don't have those dogged headache, <clears throat> headaches that we used to have, all that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, nobody knows, like, like Mike was so gracious talking about me in one of his videos, at Keto, Keto Mad, and he was saying, I've never been a 68 year old woman post menopause to know what Sarah goes through. But, you know, he trusts my process and he, and I listened to his, um, you know, carnivore journey. And um, I think that we both enjoy each other's company and respect the heck out of each other so much that, you know, it's just a pure um, friendship based on um, personalities and um, total respect for the other person's journey, you know, and um, I don't think anybody's going on his website or channel, nor are people really coming on mine telling me what I'm supposed to do. Sometimes they question it, but not in a um, let me fix you place. And I know that um, after Tammy had her heartfelt teary um, week 88 video, she said, I know a lot of you are going to try to fix me and suggest things and tell me to do things. And I read a few of them and I was just like, let her have her peace. She knows her body. And maybe that's because I respect Tammy as as much as um, Keto Mike and Beating Obesity and um, other people that I watch an awful lot um, because I trust her. I trust that she's gone through all of the hacks that you can do to deal with her bloated gaining weight. Um, she and I are of the same school. That's why I think she's a sister from another mister. And because we share that, you know, we look at a piece of pepperoni and we probably put on three pounds of bloat. I mean, we don't, you know, I don't know what her culprits are. I'm not really sure what my culprits are. I tend to think mine are more um, humidity, heat index, and moon-based now that I'm post-menopause. But um, it is what it is. And so I never trample on her stuff because I figure there's nothing she hasn't tried to better her way. And it's the same for me. So we're both lucky in that way. We've got a lot of tried and true uh, remedies for it. And sometimes waiting is one of the remedies. And that's horrible to hear when you feel so yucky. I know that feeling. And so anyway, um, just saying what I'm saying and I respect everybody's way that they're doing it. If today you're keto -fying and you're still having diet sodas and, and, you know, buying expensive ice creams and putting them in root, diet root beer and adding, you know, cream to that, um, that's fine, you know, enjoy. But if it ever becomes a problem, look first to the artificial ingredients in sodas and sweeteners. And, um, yeah, that, that would be my suggestion. If it's not working for you anymore, if it's working for you, lucky you, your metabolism has a bounce to it and you can still have those things. But once you get to be my age, I think there's a lot more, um, there's a lot different. It's just different. And a lot of you understand that difference. What I might've had at 40, today at 68, no freaking way would it work for me anymore. And I don't want it. So, you know, one of the gifts, um, and this is kind of funny, and I hear that with carnivores too, is that your palate changes. 
And so what you think you can never live without, <laughs> keto pizza, <laughs> gum for me, uh, things like that, suddenly you find you can live without, who knew? And so for a lot of us, our journey ends up with some things eliminated that we never, ever, ever figured we could. So join me on this. It's a trip. We're all snowflakes. That's why it's all so different. And I so respect the uniqueness of each and every one of you. So tune in again for another episode. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with her version of keto. And tell me about yours. I will talk to you later, Gator. Thank you so much, Gator. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.